Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Now that Valentine's Day is just a few days away, I thought I would share what I'm giving my kids this year. I've had a lot of people ask, and so that's what I'm sharing today. So stay tuned. Okay guys, now just a few things before we get started. First off, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you like Valentine's Day gifts. Now, second of all, I have a disclaimer. Now, usually on Valentine's Day, I only give my kids one or two things. I don't go overboard or anything like that. Just something small to let them know that I care and to make the day special. But this year on Valentine's Day, we're actually driving to Disneyland. So it's kind of a road trip that day for us. And usually when we're on a road trip, I like to give the kids activities to keep them busy in the car. So I'm actually combining those into the Valentine's Day gifts this year. So there'll be treats, but there'll also be things to keep them busy while we're in the car that day. Now let's get started. So if you're new here, I have four kids. I have Mackenzie who is eight, Jackson who's six, Lily who's four, and I have Griffin who is 18 months. So I try to keep things as even as I can for the three older kids. And then for my youngest, I have to give him some different things because he's not quite old enough for everything that the bigger kids can have. So I started off with getting a plastic bowl from the Dollar Tree. In fact, most of the items I'm gonna show you today are either from the Dollar Tree or from Walmart, so they weren't super expensive at all. But I went ahead and got a bowl for each one of the kids to keep all of their stuff in. It'll look really nice when I give it to them and it's useful as well. These large bowls are perfect for making slime as well, so we'll definitely reuse them for that. So I'll go ahead and show you what I'm putting in my three oldest kids first, and then I'll show you Griffin's last. The first thing I'm going to do to these bowls to personalize them is I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these foam stickers from the Dollar Tree on the front with the kid's name as well. So here we have Lily's, there's Jackson's, there's Mackenzie's, and Griffin's. Now I have a lot of these foam stickers left over, so if the kids want to, they can go ahead and add more if they'd like to. Next, I'm going to add one sheet of tissue paper, which is also from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna add it to the bottom of each bowl. And now it's time to start filling these in. I'm gonna start with the largest item first. I have these activity coloring books. These came from Walmart, and these are gonna be perfect for our road trip as well. So for Mackenzie, I have the My Little Pony. For Jackson, I have Despicable Me. And for Lily, I have Trolls. Next up, I have several books. My kids love to read, and I love to encourage them to read. I found all of these at Walmart, and they were not expensive either. This first one is for Mackenzie. This is the uh, Fairy Rainbow Book series. I'm not quite sure what it's called, but I know that she loves these, so she'll be excited for this. She can definitely read this in the car. Let's see, and for Lily, I got this mini it's a Valentine's Day book. So it comes with stickers and the book itself, so I know she's gonna love that. And then for Jackson, I got this Paw Patrol one. It's just like this one where it has the stickers. And it actually comes with Valentine's Day cards as well that they can tear out and give to their friends. Next up, I have some new DVDs. These are from Walmart and they're actually Valentine's Day themed episodes. These were about $5 each and they're definitely gonna come in handy for a long car trip. So I tried to pick out something for everyone. For Lily, I picked out Minnie Mouse. For Jackson, I picked out Daniel Tiger. I love the Daniel Tiger series. It teaches a lot about friendship and how to be mindful of other people's feelings. And then for Mackenzie, it got this Shopkins. I've never actually seen any episodes of Shopkins, so hopefully it'll be good and not too sassy. So I'm not a big fan of cartoons that are sassy. I also picked out some fun travel puzzles. These all came from the Dollar Tree and I really like that they have a case. This is a metal case so they can take it with them. For Mackenzie, I got Moana. For Lily, I got the Shimmer and Shine. 
and for Jackson, I got PJ Masks. So if we stop on our way at a restaurant somewhere and we're waiting for a long time, it'll be perfect to pull these out for the kids to work on. Now the next couple of things also came from the Dollar Tree. And I know the kids are going to love these. However, these will not be going on the road trip. First up, we have some Play-Doh. I used to let the kids do Play-Doh in the car, but ever since we got the new car, no more Play-Doh. It's just too messy. So for Mackenzie, I got the pink. For Jackson, I got the green one. And I know Lily will love the purple one. And then we also have some sidewalk chalk. This whole thing was only a dollar, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna open it up because they're individually wrapped in this little group. So I'll go ahead and give one of these to each child and then I'll have an extra. So yeah, definitely not for in the car, for at home. Next up, I have a couple of things from Walmart. These were $1.98 each. And these are definitely gonna be for the bigger kids only because they are recommended ages three and up. They do have some small pieces. So right here I have lots of bubbles and here I have some stamps. These bubbles will come in handy when we're at Disneyland. The kids can pull them out and do them whenever they're waiting for the parade or waiting in line. So I'll go ahead and give like four to each child. Now next up we have some sweet treats. I really tried not to go heavy on the candy for these Valentine's Day gifts because the kids get enough sugar at their Valentine's Day parties and things like that. So I just got them this little tube of mini M&Ms and I love these plastic tubes. We love to reuse these for our pressed penny collection for when we go to Disney. So they'll eat the candy and then we'll go ahead and put pennies in it when we're done. Next up, I have some cute stuffed animals. These came from the Dollar Tree. They also have similar ones at Walmart, but they're like $3. So definitely check Dollar Tree first. These guys are so cute. They're actually really well made. And they had so many different ones to choose from. They even had some teddy bears that smelled like chocolate, so they were scented. So I have this one for Mackenzie. Let's see, Jackson will take the red one, and Lily will have the pink one. I have one more food item to put in there. These are the Valentine's Day pretzels. I got these at Walmart and it comes with 35 bags. So you could actually give these out as Valentine's, like in your class or whatever. And these are really cute. It comes with a pink bag and a blue bag. And you can write your little to and from on there. So go ahead and give the kids one of each color. And then we have all of these left over. So the kids are gonna be going to some Valentine's Day parties. So we could take these there, or these could come with us on our trip and we can snack on these. Okay guys, our last item. I picked up these little balloons on a stick from the Dollar Tree, and they say, I love you, I love you, and happy Valentine's Day. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick these right in here. The kids have actually never had little balloons like this, so I think they're gonna be super excited and hopefully they won't like break them or poke each other with them, we shall see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick these right down in there. It makes them look super fun and festive. I would have loved to get something like this when I was a kid, does not look fun. And that is everything for the three older kids. Now I'll go ahead and show you what I got for my youngest. Now unlike the big kids, I'm not gonna be giving Griffin a coloring book. He's not really into coloring yet, and he does like to put crayons in his mouth. So we'll be skipping that. So the first thing I'm gonna put in his are these adorable spoons. I found these at the grocery store actually. These are little jet shaped spoons, and it comes with two, they're soft grip, and BPA free, so those should be really fun. Now I did go ahead and get a DVD for Griffin as well. He doesn't normally watch a ton of TV, but I know he likes Elmo, so when we're in the car and he's getting antsy, I'll go ahead and pop this in and hopefully it'll make him happy. And I think the older kids will like it too. And also, just like with the older kids, I got Griffin his own Valentine's Day book. This one is called Hugs and Kisses, and I know he's gonna love it because it's a touch and feel book. Those are his favorite. And I love that this is a small book, so it's perfect for taking in the car. 
So we have a teddy bear, ladybugs, penguins and bunnies. Isn't this adorable? He's gonna love it. Now, unlike the big kids, I'm not gonna put any Play-Doh in here or any of the little tiny toys because he's just too young. But I do have a lot of snacks for him, which will be awesome in the car and while we're at Disney. So first up, I have some of these tiny gummies. These are little duck-shaped gummies and they have probiotics. They're really good. Then he also got some of these freeze-dried fruit and veggie snacks. He's never tried these before, so hopefully he'll like them. They have bananas, mangoes, and edamame in there. And then I also got him one of his favorites. He loves cereal bars, but these ones are a little bit better for toddlers. They're full of whole grains and real fruit and things like that. Next up, we have a couple of Dollar Tree items. Just like the other kids, I got him a little teddy bear and I got him a little ball. I don't think this is small enough to fit in his mouth, which is good, so he can't try to eat it, but it also has a light, just like that. Isn't that cool? I think he's gonna love it. Next up, I'm going to add some pretzels, just like the older kids. Griffin loves pretzels and he has no trouble eating them, so I'm gonna put those right in there. And last but not least, I'm also giving Griffin a balloon. I'm pretty sure that he's gonna want one because he's gonna see everyone else have one, so hopefully he won't like poke anybody with them. I will watch him very closely. And that is everything in his bowl. Doesn't that look adorable? Now yes, he has fewer things than his older siblings, but that's what happens when you're a toddler. And I don't think he's really gonna care too much. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this video today, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you plan on celebrating Valentine's Day this year, who is your Valentine and are you getting them anything? Let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.